I am looking so cool in these shades right now. I think I might film this whole video wearing these. Hey everyone, sorry I've been a little absent from um, YouTube lately, but shit has been fucking busy. God damn, and part of that was because my wonderful Black Friday clutch sold out in three days. I cannot believe it. Like, you know, I thought it might, but oh. Freya and I were just like, we were both overwhelmed. It's totally insane. So we have since released another 150 of these, so I'm going to get 350 made. So there are still a few in stock if um, you want to. Grab yourself one before they are. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ah. Yeah, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite jewelry that I've acquired recently or purchased or been gifted, whatever. The point is not how I acquired it. The point is that I love it so much that I wanted to film it for you guys. These shades, which are totally fucking awesome, are from Cult Cadabra. So I will link them down for you. I didn't think that I could pull off round kind of shades, but yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. I love how they match my, my new background too. Hee hee hee. Okay, so there's three brands that I'm going to be speaking of today. The first is Halloween 13. They are an Australian brand. I am wearing this lovely crescent moon necklace. It is so simple. I love it. Sometimes, you know, stuff is just too busy. So if you want like a really simple piece, that's just gorgeous. I love that. Actually, again, I can't count those four brands. <laughs> Here we have the Leviathan Cross laser cut. This stuff is so in now. It's crazy. It's everywhere. Everyone seems to be doing it, but it's, again, it's really simple, but it makes such like a, it's a statement piece. That's what I'm trying to say. It's in its simplicity. It just fucking rocks. The fourth brand, I only have one item from this lovely lady. This was also gifted to me, is from Katia London. I hopefully I'm saying her last name correctly. Her jewelry brand is her own name, but she's based in Germany. I think that's just gorgeous. And it's, um, it's got some stone. Let's try to get the camera. See how there's the, the pentacle. And then the base of that is on um, some kind of stone. I don't know what it is. It's really pretty. Should have done my research before filming this, but it's badass and it's really, really cheap. So a lot of the comments for my videos are, where do I get my jewelry from? So I thought I would just share that so you guys can bling it up a little like me. Now the rings on these fingers are by Rogue and Wolf. And you probably know of them because they're just like insanely popular at the moment. And for good reason, their shit is bloody good. Um, so I'm just gonna get my little pot of goodies and show you what's inside and let's get started So literally I have a pot of goodies see <laughs> little pot of gold a pot of gold I might take these off Because I'm quite impressed with my makeup today. I don't say that very often because I'm usually <laughs> Really stressed when I do my makeup, but yeah, I'm experimenting a little more if you can see my little White dotsy woos. <laughs> That's a technical name. Okay, so I've already explained. Hopefully you can see uh, the pieces that I'm wearing. The, yeah, the two, I will get up. There we go. Ooh, breasts. So yeah, these are the two that I have on. They look quite lovely. My shirt, I haven't worn this because it's, it's like I really wanted a traditional kind of like not fishnet, but like a mesh shirt. And I was a bit unhappy with this. It seems okay now. It's by Bad Attack. I think, I don't know if that brand still exists or if that was part of a website that shut down that I can't remember the name. I, this is not helpful at all, is it? <laughs> Here's a list of a bunch of stuff you can no longer buy from a website I can't remember the name of. Good job, Evelina. So yeah, I don't really like, I didn't like this collar when I first bought it, but I'm kind of digging it now. It's not too bad, but it's kind of loose everywhere. It's not like I wanted like a bodycon, like super tight. And yeah, I just, I did not get that. If you're wondering, this is not part of the haul, but this ring here is Thomas Sabo. Just put in like awesome snake ring by Thomas Sabo and that will come up. Okay, so let's talk about this little gorgeous piece here. This is by Rogue and Wolf. I bought this as a set with a ring. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. So let me take up this one. Just, it's too much to wear. I don't know, maybe you would wear it like that. That's fine. I think it's a bit too much, but I bought that cuff and that ring as a set. And yeah, it wasn't cheap. It was like $109 and I don't understand why. Sometimes people say that my bags are expensive because like, you know, that's, that's a whole fucking bag. Yeah, it's a bit more than $100, but that was like 110 for the set. And it's tiny, it's teeny tiny, but it's really good quality, but so is this, so just, Gonna stick up for myself because 
If I don't, who will? Whoa, what happened to my lighting? Yeah, so this, again, if you just put in spider web cuff by Rogue and Wolf, should come up, is freaking cool. And I will give you guys some close-ups. These rings here are called midi rings, so they're the ones that sit on the first knuckles of your finger, and that is just a normal ring. And then we've got that cuff there. It's quite adjustable because you can just kind of pinch it and it will reshape itself but I do believe it came in two different sizes. This next item is a black inverted cross. Everything is so black I'm having trouble actually <laughs> showing this to you. Let's get it up on some of the pink. How pretty is that? So that's from Mamishka in France. Um, their page is like Bajor Mamishka, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's hard to find and I have trouble tagging them because um, I always go to look for M and then I can't find their company, but I will um, link to their website so you can find that. And yeah, that was gifted to me and it's just lovely. It comes on a really super duper long chain. It's nice because then you can wear it like all the way down there or I've occasionally just like messed around with the clasp um, so you can wear it up higher, but I like that you've got that flexibility as well. Okay, next up is this lovely piece by the Pumpkin Coven. So Paige gifted this to me. She's absolutely lovely. I purchased a few things from her um, a while ago and then we kind of befriended each other and started chatting and she's absolutely lovely. She does all this stuff herself. This piece is a conversation starter and as you can see, it will make any outfit just pop. So I'm so upset that I haven't set the camera up at the height so you can see it. But yeah, it's so sparkly. <laughs> and all of her stuff is really nice and I've got some matching earrings that I'll show you that kind of have the same well it is, the, it is the same bats on it so they're kind of interchangeable so if you bought a pair of earrings from her you can match it up with the necklace set as well next up is another laser cut piece by the pumpkin coven i believe this is the wiccan symbol for goddess and it has a pentacle in the middle i don't think that's part of the symbol i think it's been added into it but either way it is super duper nice and really well timed because i'm actually working with lurid fox who's one of my upcoming collabs and her bag has this exact symbol on it it's going to be embroidered in baby pink on the interior of her bag so that's pretty cool because then i'll be able to have the bag and wear the necklace so yeah that's another really nice piece it's a bit sharp a bit dangerous but <laughs> i like living on the edge this one here is another one by Mamishka in France. It is so intricate, I feel like it doesn't go with this top at all. I think this is so classy, it would be better paired with a corset. So I'm waiting to get a little more dulled up to wear this one, but isn't it just stunning? And it's got a lovely cameo of a purple skeleton girl there, which is really nice. And yeah, this is very detailed and the parts are kind of movable, so it kind of molds around the shape of your neck, which I really like. This one here is another one by Halloween 13 in Australia. It has been one of my personal faves recently, just due to the stunning Swarovski teardrop crystal that's on it. I don't even know what color you would call that. It just, it catches the light beautifully. And that was gifted to me from the lovely girl in the shop. And again, I love supporting Australian brands, so go and check her out. But yeah, it just sparkles. And whenever I wear it in photos, it's really lovely. The girl from Halloween 13 also gave me these coffin earrings. Aren't they awesome? They're like, metallic sparkly glittery silver it's like christmas every day just make sure you put them on the right way because oh, <laughs> if you wear them on the back side it's quite boring the metallic side is obviously only on the front yeah i probably wouldn't pair these earrings with that necklace but i love the silhouette you get of the the cross there uh, at first i'm like oh they're too big but then i'm like no nah, i like them i like them and if you want to be even cooler put on your sunglasses last but not least is this lovely bat necklace again by the pumpkin coven and matching earrings again i don't feel this necklace suits this collar so i'd probably want to wear a corset or something that's a little more like a plunge neckline i love how the teardrops sit and the chain is adjustable and the earrings are just fucking gorgeous. A big thank you to Paige at the Pumpkin Coven for sending me all that stuff. To Mamishka, to Halloween 13. I've been getting so much stuff lately. It's, it's really nice. Today on my eyes, I used exclusively the Metal Matte Palette. I went like for a little bit more of a natural kind of smoky look to open up my eyes a little bit. Just some winged eyeliner and I bought some NYX White Liquid Eyeliner. I've been trying to get a little bit more experimental with my makeup and... <laughs> All I really did this time was add some dots on the side of my face, but it's effective. I love how it kind of, can you see that? Catches the light. And I just realized I forgot contour. Oh my God. This lipstick is Red Velvet by Lime Crime. It is to date my favorite red. It's just, 
I don't know, it really matches my complexion. It's just a red that pops, it pops, it pops. If you're new to my channel, a big welcome. Hello to the ever-growing family. I love hearing from you guys and I read every single comment. Um, it's taken me a little longer to reply because I do get a few more comments these days, but I bear with me, I do reply. And you guys have had some really good suggestions on people that I should collab with. So I will announce some new and exciting collabs very soon. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. See you guys later.